Hey guys, so there's been a little bit of confusion of how to set up a sample fix simple edition or real edition on KShoot because it works a little bit differently from Virgo's turbochargers. So I'm going to show you how to set this up because I'm getting a little irritated at seeing people complain on the subreddit of, oh, my controller's not working. What do I do? This is how, this is how to do it. You, for one, to set up your lasers, they should install when you first set it up or plug it into your computer. To know this works, you're going to move a knob, red knob, red knob should move up and down, and blue knob should move left and right. Now that may be working. So then you're going to have to go to input type of laser object in options, and that should be in the uh, input judgment section. You're going to really want to set the hold key, because you're not playing on a keyboard, you're going to set this to mouse X and Y signal, because this the knobs move off of mouse signals for some reason. And for slider sensitivity or mouse signal sensitivity, which is basically knob sensitivity, you're going to change this to whatever you prefer it at. I personally use 25 because that's what I find to be more accurate than others. Maybe 20 is more better for some other people, but 25 is more <laughs> recommended for people. Now, key config, this is a bit more confusing. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is this is what you're probably going to do when you get your controller. You're going to go straight to gamepad 1, and then you'll do this. And then you'll start freaking out about how it's not detecting anything. And then you'll go complain on the subreddit how oh, shit's not working. But apparently, for some reason, Simple Edition and Real Edition do not detect with the gamepad because that's not in case it's coded. You're going to want to go to keyboard one, and I'm going to delete all these blinds, for instance, so I can show you. Now, these are, you just do that and press the buttons on the keyboard instead of gamepad. And start button you can't get to. Just also, these laser options don't matter. You're not going to be using them. Uh, you're going to want to go to keyboard 2 to get the start button binded. Just scroll up the start and then press the start. So for the start button, it's keyboard 2. For the main button, it's keyboard 1. Hopefully this helps someone. Um, thanks for watching.